We have told you about the growing amount of liquid methamphetamine coming through Valley Ports. Now CBP is telling us who is being recruited to smuggle it across and where this spike is coming from. Channel 5's Yuri Gonzalez is at the Anza Duas International Bridge where one teen was just busted. Gabby, that's right. We're live just near the Anzaldúa port of entry where recent liquid methamphetamines have been busted. Now, CBP tells us that this recent spike seems to be mainly young adults in the ages of 17 to 25 trying to smuggle liquid methamphetamines into the valley. But this time they're hiding it in their gas tanks. So, uh, A lot of the people that are being utilized to uh, smuggle narcotics uh, are the younger folks, and that's what we've been seeing lately. The seizures showing that a great majority of the drug is coming from young adults traveling from Nuevo Leon, a state in Mexico, just an hour and a half from the Rio Grande. Hidalgo County District Attorney, who prosecutes many cases, shares who gets lured the most. They target individuals who economically, you know, are not well. You know, individuals that, that you know, that live in Mexico that uh, somehow, some way they, they have, you know, border, uh, legal border crossing. District Attorney Rodriguez says no matter the age of the smugglers, no one gets a free pass. The amount of meth being seized also factors into each case, and it could affect the punishment of the individuals being charged. It doesn't matter if they're, if they're crossing the, the, the border and, and they're, they're arrested here in the United States, you know, they, they have the same consequences. The most recent bust happening at the Anzaldúa's port of entry February 22nd. CBP encountered a 20-year-old from Nuevo León, Mexico, with 119 pounds of alleged methamphetamine. So far in 2020, just at Hidalgo Far and Anzaldúa's, officials say they've encountered $38 million worth. The vast majority of it, liquid meth. The reason for the spike? You know, marijuana has been legalized, you know, and is being legalized throughout the nation. So, uh, you know, the, 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 the surplus for it, the, the demand for it, it's not there like it used to be. The demand now shifting to where organized crime needs a surplus, in this case, liquid meth. Now, with the demand being at an all-time high, CBP and other law enforcement agencies are working on new strategic non-stop trainings to tackle the product. In Mission, Yuri Gonzalez, Channel 5 News this morning.